Welcome! In this video we're going to talk about figure and table lines, source lines, and captions. And these are ways to provide additional information to your reader for tables, graphs, visuals, pictures, just about everything you can think of that isn't text. So a figure line will have a phrase or sentence introducing a visual, and that is used for everything but a table. So it could be a graph, it could be a picture, could be a drawing, could be smart art, just about anything you can think of that's a visual that is not a table. And you would provide the figure, the word figure, the actual number, and then the description. And when you're lining these up in your document, the first one is figure one, the second one would be figure two, third one would be figure three, and so on. So uh, sequential order. The table line is the exact same concept, only you're doing it for something that is a table. So a chart that has numerical information typically in rows and columns. And the difference is that the first word will be table and then have the number and then the description of what the table is showing. A source line is how you give credit to a source that you are using that if you're not able to use like APA and text citation or MLA style citation, um, it's a way to show this is my source and you can indicate two things. You can indicate that this is borrowed exactly from the original source and you would do that by just saying source and then giving the title, the author, and the copyright or date of publication or date of last edit. If you are taking information from the source but creating your own table or your own graph, you would put source but then say adapted from and then the same information, title, author, and copyright, date of publication, or date of last edit. And then finally, what you're probably most familiar with because you would see them in a newspaper under a photo is a caption. And you can sometimes use this if the image is not essential to the content that is being provided, but it's like supplement. And you can use these in an essay. Sometimes uh, you're required to use visuals or tables or source lines or captions but more frequently they're used in PowerPoint presentations. So we have an example of a PowerPoint slide here, and we have a table on the left-hand side and a picture that is supplemental with a caption underneath it on the right-hand side. So here above the table introducing it, you have table one indicating this is the first table that appears in the document. And then you have a description, description of basic job requirements for medical assistance. That's what this is showing. And then this is also folding in APA and text citation to say where that information is coming from. So you can see what that looks like. On the right hand side, you have a picture and the caption just describes what's going on in the picture. On the next slide here, we have another example of a photo, but if it's more essential to the content, you may want to name it as a figure and provide a figure line. So you can see at the top here, it says figure one, indicating it's the first visual that appears in the document, and then a description of what it is showing. On the next slide here, we have a graph, which is a visual. So we have figure two, it's the second visual that we've seen so far, and a description of what it's showing. And also at the bottom, an example of a source line, which says source adapted from Occupational Outlook Handbook by US Bureau of Labor Statistics, September 13, 2021. And so this is saying adapted from, meaning this whole graph is not copied and pasted from the site the data, the numbers are used from that site and then they created, whoever created this PowerPoint, created this graph. And so they're adapting information from here, putting their own graphic together. And that's what that adapted from line indicates. 
On this slide, we have another visual. So this is the third visual that we're seeing in the document. So it's figure number three. And again, describing what it is showing. And then at the bottom here, we have a source line saying this is a degree audit report and where it is from. Because there is no adapted from phrasing here, this indicates that this graph was copied and pasted from that source. It is the actual graph from that source, which again, you're allowed to do in an educational setting or a fair use setting, but generally not allowed to use in a workplace setting. And we have an example of what this could look like in a Word document. So in the Word document, again, figure table line always goes first above what you're displaying and then the source line would go at the bottom. So we have figure one and then the description of what it's showing and at the bottom we have a source line saying this is adapted from a source. And below that we've got table four, so this is the fourth table in this document and a description of what it is showing. And so this works in Microsoft Word as well as in PowerPoint.